What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been asked for the longest time by you guys on Instagram, on TikTok, out and about in public, by friends to film this video. So I've heard you guys loud and clear and I'm so excited to finally be filming my everyday makeup routine. I will start off by saying that I am by no means a makeup artist, but I have been fortunate enough to work with some of the most amazing makeup artists in the industry through my modeling. So I feel very grateful to have worked with them and gotten so many great tips and tricks off them and to now share them with you guys. I also feel like my passion for makeup really developed through modeling as well. I will also mention that this video isn't sponsored by any means. I have bought all these products with my own hard earned money. And if I'm using a product and I'm talking about it, it's because I genuinely love the product. Anyways, that's enough from me. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. I'm so scared for this transition. Hi. So to start off, I feel like it's really important to make sure that your base is nice and clean. It's moisturized. So I've done my full skincare routine before this video off camera. So I'm not going to go through the products that I use for that. Let me know if you want a separate video about my skincare routine because I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. I love skincare. It's something I'm very passionate about as well. So we're going to start off with a primer. And the one that I'm using today is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. And honestly, up until about two weeks ago, I never really used primers. I just felt like it would always make my foundation sit weird. I know it's meant to do the opposite, but I don't know, maybe it was the products that I was using. I heard a lot about this product in particular, so I picked up a little testing sample size. Um, and I really like it. It's, I'm just going to pop a little bit of that over where my pores tend to be a bit bigger. So that's around this area for me. The next product I'm going to be using is the MAC Strobe Cream. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that onto the high points of my face, like the same places you would put highlighter. So just up here and up here. I just love how this product sits on the skin and how it looks underneath foundation. It just makes your skin look so much more dewy and I just love a glowy makeup look. So this is a must have for me. Moving on to foundation. I use two main types of foundation um, just depending on what I'm doing that day, what kind of look I'm going for. So the first foundation that I use is the NARS She Glow Foundation in the shade Syracuse. This foundation I use more as a long wear foundation, so if I'm going out or if I need it to last a bit longer, I'm going to be using this one. The second foundation that I use, which is the one I'm going to be wearing today, is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one is in the shade Tan. Although this foundation is a CC cream technically, it is so full coverage, so literally one pump goes a really long way with this one. So not only do I love how this foundation looks on the skin, but my favorite skincare YouTuber, Hiram, did a whole video on it cosmetics and did a review on this product in particular. I'll leave that link in the description because it's definitely worth a watch. He spoke all about the ingredients that are in this product, which I found really interesting. I think it's really important to know the things that are sitting on your face all day. It's obviously an SPF 50 plus foundation, as you can see here, which is super important, but it's also one of the reasons that I won't wear this um, if I'm going out and taking flash photography, just because SPF can have flashback, as we all know. I probably should have washed all my brushes before this. So this is the foundation brush that I'm gonna be using. It's jewel headed, which I love, and it's also from IT Cosmetics. Before every use, I will go ahead and use just a brush cleaner, like a little disinfectant, just to keep them nice and fresh and clean. Well, so this is the product that I use to clean all my brushes with. It's the Mecha Max Power Tool Brush Refresh Mist. So I just spray them a couple times, then I take a clean towel and just... So I'm just going to take a pump and a half onto that brush. So let's go, shall we? As you can see, my face is a lot whiter than the rest of my body. So I feel like it's really important for me to make sure it's blended nicely into the rest of my neck and chest. blended we're gonna be going in with some concealer and the concealer I'm gonna be using today is the Tarte Shape Tape of course it's such a good concealer so high coverage 
Um, and I am using the shade Light Neutral. So I just take the concealer wand and pop it underneath my eyes like so. Over between my eyebrows and a bit on my chin. step I don't tend to do it every single day it just depends how contoured and snatched I want to look but I'm just gonna do it today to show you how I would do it um, I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown stick foundation in the shade walnut and I use this product to cream contour my face I just apply that to the tip of my beauty blender like so so with my cream contour and my bronzers and stuff, I want to focus it right up high in the cheekbones. If you drag it down too far, I feel like it makes you look really droopy and heavy. So that's one tip I do have with the contours to keep it up nice and high on the cheekbone. So I have just turned the down lights on in my room because it was getting a little bit dark because the sun is starting to set now. Um, I also realized that I just filmed the next step and didn't even press record. So love that for me. But the next step is powder. And for that, I would just be using this Rimmel London Match Perfection Translucent Powder. So this is another one of the few products that I've been using ever since I started doing my makeup. My friend Charlotte put me onto it and I'm still obsessed with it to this day it's actually a drugstore product so you can literally get it in Priceline and it's a lot cheaper than your high-end translucent powders but I swear it's just as good so I'm just gonna be taking my Zoeva 134 Lux powder fusion brush this brush could also do with a bit of a wash but for now let's just give it a bit of a spritz like I said, I already filmed this part, so I actually do have powder on right now, but I'm just going to take a tiny bit on the pan just to show you where I would put powder. I'm going to apply it here. I like to pat it underneath the eyes and then sweep. Same for this area here. This area I get super shiny in because I have nice big chunky cheeks. So I pack it in there and sweep the excess off. Same in here. I like to sweep it up here and sweep it down there. That's, yeah, that's all the powder that I use. So the next step in my routine is actually eyebrows. And I don't know why I do it in this order. Like I said, I think I do it very back to front, but this is just the order that I've gotten used to. So we're gonna go in with my billion dollar brushes eyebrow brush. The brow product that I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and I use the shade Granite. So I'm going to take the angled side of the brush and dip it into the darkest shade. Um, again, I'm going to be super light handed because I like a natural fluffy brow. I like to start in the center of my brow which is the fullest part and I like to just do super light strokes. Bit. I might actually zoom you guys in so you can get a better look. So I was filming that the whole, well, I thought I was filming it the whole time. Turns out it wasn't. Um, but it's okay, we're gonna make two. I'll go through it again and explain it for the second time. Oh, I can't believe I did that again. So for the inner sections of my brows, as you can see, I like to create natural little hair strokes and I do this using the lighter shade in the powder duo and I also like to take the angled brush and actually pinch it to make it nice and sharp. That way it just helps create more thin, straight and sharp lines, especially for me because I do have more sparseness towards the inner parts of my brows. Um, those little hair strokes makes it look more fuller and more natural. So I basically just go in and flick the product up that way and create natural 
little hair strokes. I'm obviously not doing anything because I've already drawn them. The last thing that I like to do with my eyebrows is take this Benefit 24 hour brow setter and just run that through my eyebrows. So the next step that I like to do is bronzer. I know it makes absolutely no sense. The bronzer that I use is the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. The brush that I like to use for my bronzer is the Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. And I actually decided to buy this after watching a Desi Perkins YouTube tutorial because I'm obsessed with her and I'm obsessed with her makeup looks. I think it just looks flawless every single time. And when she used this brush in one of the videos, I just had to get it. So I'm just going to grab some of the product and work it into my cheekbones. One thing that I really love about this bronzer is just how buildable it is. So I feel like it looks like I'm dipping back and forth in it, um, but that's just because it's really buildable and I like to build up the intensity of it. chubby cheeks look a little bit more snatched we're going to be moving on to highlighter and for highlighter i'm going to be using the og mac soft and gentle i've been using this again for as long as i can remember and i love this highlighter so much it's so natural looking so to apply my highlighter i'm going to be using the zoeva 129 luxe fan brush So after highlighter, I like to go in and do my blush. I just feel like the blush really ties in the bronzer and the highlighter all together. And for blush, I'm going to be using the RMS Beauty Pressed Blush in the shade Lost Angel. This one is a super nice peachy kind of blush. That is peachy, right? And to apply that, I'm going to be taking my Morphe blush brush, which has blush all over it. It just gives you a nice peachy little flushed look so that is everything that I do for my face um, the last step in my routine would be eye makeup and I don't really venture out too much with eyeshadows and colors and stuff I tend to just stick to bronzy and neutral tones um, and for eyes today we're going to be using the Morphe 15H palette I usually stick with this palette for my eye makeup and if I'm not using this one then I'm using the Tarte Roasted Toasted palette they're both super similar very warm neutral tones um, and they're perfect size for traveling and stuff so I've just realized the eyeshadow brush that I use every day doesn't even have any type of labeling on it but that's pretty much the main brush that I use for blending out any eyeshadow in the crease so I'm gonna take that brush and dip it into the shade Cheers I've built up that outer crease area there. I like to drag the rest of the product out to create a bit of a cat eye effect. Okay, so I've finished the other side. I'm gonna go in and clean it up with concealer because it's giving me anxiety. now is a shimmer and for that I'm going to use another Morphe flat brush which also doesn't have a name or a number because it's from a pack I'm so sorry for eyeshadow shimmer if I was going to be using the same Morphe palette that I just used I would probably be going for this shade right here called trash talk it's a nice gold shimmer just there but to change it up I'm going to be using another palette and that one's from Tarte 
and this is called the Tarte Pro Remix Palette. I actually got this at one of their events that I went to a while ago and I love this palette so much. Their shimmers are so pigmented and so good. I'm going to be going in and using this shade right here. It's called Mic Drop and it's a really nice coppery sort of tone. Step, I'm going to be darkening up the lash line and the lower lash line. For my upper lash line, I'm going to be using this small angled brush from Morphe and I'm going to be mixing 5pm and Manhattan, these two shades here. my eyes is lashes and I'm so excited because if there's one thing that I always get asked about it's what lashes are you wearing are you wearing strip lashes are you wearing individual lashes did you get eyelash extensions eyelash lift like what lashes are you wearing so the lashes that I use are the Ardell Wispies multi-pack strip lashes I cannot recommend these lashes enough. They are so natural looking and so affordable. They're really easy to apply as well because they don't have a thick band. They have an invisible band, it's called. So it makes it super easy to apply and they won't fall off. For me personally, with my job, I can't really get eyelash extensions because with modeling, it's just a bit of a hassle. So these are a really great alternative. They're just the perfect lash. So before I pop these on, I'm gonna curl my lashes and put a bit of mascara on. So with my strip lashes, I don't really want to curl my lashes too much because then it makes it hard for me to stick them on. So I'm only going to curl them a tiny bit. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Emco Beauty Extend Lash Mascara. My friend Leah Baines, who's an amazing makeup artist, actually recommended this one to me. And I literally just picked it up from Woolies, so it's super affordable, but it is really, really good. So it's a tubular mascara, which... I don't really know the scientific stuff behind it, but it's really good, so if you're interested, look it up. Oh, that was so f***ing dumb. I literally just got it all on my lid. <laughs> Anyways, if that happens, just wait for it to dry and then scrape it off. You don't want to be doing it when it's wet because then it smudges. I've learned that from past mistakes. So I'm just going to take the duo strip lash adhesive and put a nice even layer on the lash. I might zoom you guys in a little bit. So while I wait for the glue to dry, I'm going to pop on some inner corner highlight and eyebrow bone highlight. And for that, I'm going to be using another shade from the Tarte Pro Remix palette. And that is Inspiration. It is the best inner corner highlight ever. To apply that, I'm just using a really small flat headed brush and packing it on in the center. I feel like it makes such a difference having that inner corner highlight. It really makes your eyes pop and appear so much more brighter. So if you don't use inner corner highlight, you should. I'm just going to pop a little bit of mascara onto my bottom lashes now. So for the next step, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and spraying that on my face. So moving on to lips, I'm going to be taking the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner Pencil and I love this shade so much. It's like the perfect nude to line your lips with. Alrighty, so I'm done lining my lips. The first lip gloss I'm going to be using is the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. And I really love how thick and creamy this lip gloss is. The colour is really beautiful as well and goes really nicely with this darker nude here. So 
So that's what the Marc Jacobs lip gloss looks like on its own. It's got a really nice minty feel to it as well, which I love. Um, but I just feel like it might be a little bit too light on me. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm on top, which is a little bit more pinkier. I love this lip gloss as well. It's one of my absolute all-time favorites. <music> So that's what those two look like together on my lips. I love pairing these two for a lip combo. I think they look really nice and complement each other really well. So the last step in my makeup routine is contouring my bottom lip. And my friend Tan, who's another amazing makeup artist, taught me this trick not too long ago and I thought it was genius. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, you can do this using a brown liner or a brown shadow. I'm just going to grab my Fenty Beauty bronzer and this little tapered brush. So I'm just following the natural contour where my chin and lip meet. It just kind of deepens up that shadow that's already there and creates the illusion that your lip is fuller and bigger. You might not be able to even tell, but um, I think it's cool. Alrighty guys, that is it for my everyday makeup routine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a couple new tips and tricks. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see more of from me. I love doing these types of videos and I'd be happy to film more of them. So let me know in the comments if you liked it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!